I need someone to give me a reason why criticizing my country feels like treason as much as it does to say the phrase, I'm proud to be an American. Dear Mr. Trump, my former president, I come to you a humble servant. I have but one request, if you'll hear it, please, sir, please do not run again. I'm not Democratic or Republican, just an independent citizen, and I implore you, sir, for our betterment, just don't fucking run again. You claim to love this nation, you want to make it great again, but sir, you've chosen to cement yourself as a vision of division, a beacon of bigotry and permission for aggression, so if you really love this nation with no selfish motivation, please just recognize the signs and forgo the next election. This is the future of our children, not some petty competition you created in your mind when you were voted out of office. See, I can get mad like you, be bad like you, and scream loud and shout like you, and pout like you, and might just be the next worst thing, but not quite you. See, what I'm saying is I get you. Well, what I'm saying is I understand. What I mean is that I empathize, I feel how you feel, and that it fucking hurts to fail. It fucking hurts. When the ego dies, we die a little. That's when people start to flail because legacy breeds mortality and truth of holy grail. This is all just one big distraction. You don't have to fall victim. You can choose to love yourself instead of proving it to everyone else and it's never too late. It is never too late. There are so many things that you can and have made great and sir, the list goes on and on. I was a fan when your show was on. You're a fucking icon, a television legend. You brought brains and entrepreneurs to an industry that was previously uncharted. You taught girls and boys alike how to build and mind their business and you don't have to be good at everything. You don't have to be good at everything. You don't have to be the bestest. You can leave that to the restless and you, sir, can just enjoy a drink on the first hole of your golf course because you already got the thing that you wanted all along, which was the fame, for people to know your name. And okay, yeah, maybe for a minute the power may have been a thing, but who knew that with such great power came such great responsibility? I thought that was just a thing that they said once in that movie. And honestly, between you and me, it's actually kind of scary. Like, you threaten nuclear warfare on an entire fucking country. Oh, wait, I mean the world. How could you take that shit so lightly? You could have ruined everything, ended everything. That includes you and me. But it's not just you that's the problem. It's this whole damn twisted system. A revolving door, two terms, eight years to fix the whole damn country. And oh, yeah, only eight years means you don't have to take accountability or take responsibility or deal with the consequences of the changes made in your Oval Office just passed down debt and war and hunger to the next prom king but who am i to speak petite and loud and totally ecstatic to save our world and fix our planet but on the way oh there you have it buy my cd it's wrapped in plastic what world am i in blessed with visions cursed with vision where christians lead a life of sin forgive me father for i have sinned i've worried my friends and embarrassed my kin i've been to hell and back a few times I've met demons disguised as angels. I've double crossed some fine lines and been fooled by lighting and angles. I've been searching for answers and clocks and lessons and license plates for anything, anyone, everything, everyone to make sense of our mistakes. God makes no mistakes, but people do. So God bless the US, God bless us, and God bless you, because I love my country. I really do. And it breaks my heart to see what it's come to, but I have faith, as should you, that she still bleeds red, white, and blue. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We break barriers. We don't build walls. Okay, wait, let me set the record straight in case I wasn't clear. My distaste for Trump as president does not mean I'm here for Joe Biden to hold it down for another four long years. I'm craving better candidates so we don't have to live in fear of wasting yet another term in pointless scandals and drama with a temper tantrum throwing toddler and his confused racist grandpa. See, really, I'd be lying if I said I cared for Biden or another old white guy in a never ending line. And he said some vile shit. There is really no denying. And it turns out he's a liar in politics. Surprise. And I, for one, will not be tricked into turning a blind eye because we have not been a democracy in a very long time. We're bullied into a binary, antiquated method of voting for a party instead of for who's best and made to believe that only one of two parties can succeed when there are plenty of moderate men and women better equipped to lead, but they don't have the backing or the influence or the funds, so they fall quickly to the wayside if they have the balls to run and manage to maneuver their way onto the ballot. But really, we're all just lab rats in this global social experiment.